The sounds and sights of students working on solar panels at NWTC's Great Lakes Energy Education Center is a view into the future for U.S. Energy Secretary Dan Bruyette. He helped craft the Energy Policy Act of 2005. He believes the skills these students are learning here will help the U.S. produce more renewable energy sources. It gives us diversity of supply, which gives consumers options. And when consumers have options, it's usually in a competitive marketplace, which means lower prices for everybody in that marketplace. These students face prosperous futures as utility professionals, even in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. Secretary Bruyette says his department continues to help people and businesses get through the lean times. He says the Energy Department has made substantial investments in Wisconsin alone. You know, part of what we've done so far is, is uh, spend roughly $12 billion here in Wisconsin to roughly 120 or 125,000 small businesses. We're going to continue to do that work until we're well beyond uh, this pandemic. Over the long term, Bruyette says homes and businesses may have less dependence on the nation's electric grid. He says improvements in solar panels and storage batteries are on the horizon. Think about what the next generation of solar panels may be, for instance. Um, we think they're going to be connected to some highly efficient batteries, which are going to provide 24-7 power. So again, a huge step forward in these types of technologies. One of the things I'm working on at the uh, U.S. Department of Energy is not only small-scale battery storage, which increases the, the production of electricity, but large-scale, grid-scale battery storage as well. I'm Terry Kavarik reporting.